Pusha Ham Productions. How y'all doing? I'm Antoine with Hawthorne Build Performance. Uh, just wanted to kind of, this is my first video, so I just kind of want to walk y'all around and show y'all some things that I've acquired for one of my upcoming builds and some of the things that I've built along the way. Uh, this doesn't illustrate all of the builds or show all of the builds that I have done, but it does give you an idea of what I'm capable of when the country. So, God damn it. All right. So, uh, yeah, I was working on kind of putting a, a G body together. I bought an 85 Grand National and a good friend of mine, Derek Newby out of Dallas, Texas, ended up donating some parts to the build. Um, upon doing that, I was contacted by a couple of individuals to build another big rim racing car. So these parts are more angled towards Pro Touring, so I don't think that they're going to be uh, used. And don't get this unless they pay me because any of my videos, anybody parts that's, that's in here, y'all need to be paying me. Alright, so see this part? Hey, y'all supposed to be... Ah, okay. Alright. Uh, I got a little uh, sway bar here and then here's some stuff I kind of just been acquiring the whole time. You know, you got a Holly HP ECU. Ooh, ah, all right. And then we have some Viking double adjustable coilovers. Y'all need to get a little louder. Oh. All right, ah, oh, they bowling. All right, <laughs> now let me show y'all, let me show y'all a video, uh, just kind of a little quick clip of what I got going on in the shop. This is where I kind of cut it, but I'm not, that I'm not I'm not there yet, so we're just gonna do a whole walkthrough over there. Walk with me now. You got a few different ain't you? Here's my ooh ah girl. <laughs> Here it is, a 1987 K10. It has a 6.2 liter uh, with a 6L80 transmission. It's full full drive, as I stated. Uh, some 35 inch Nitto Terra Grapplers with 20 inch fuel wheels. Uh, it has a Vortec V2 supercharger that sits. Has a Vortec V2 supercharger that sits over here. Uh, we just got it off right now and kind of tidying up some things. So I'm gonna kind of do a walk on the side of the truck. I'm gonna let you guys see a little bit of the interior. It's not 100% complete just yet, but hey, it gives you an idea of where we're headed. And this is what the interior looks like. So we still have a little ways to go. Uh, we got the Forever Sharp steering wheel, Dakota digital gauges supplied by Melvin Ham at 80s Performance. We got a harness, PSI harness in here. And then, uh, as you know, we got the, the famous dual fuel tanks on this guy. So still putting it together, but it is a complete frame off uh, build that I had the pleasure of working on. Well guys, um, this pretty well much concludes this video. I just kind of wanted to do a test run on some things and that I plan on showing in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one.